weeks 12 and 13. Good morning, YouTube. Bah. What's up, everybody? I hope you're safe and healthy and happy and doing okay. This week, we're taking a little bit of a break from shoe content. I have tons of shoes coming to you. Do not worry. But as some of you might know, I work in the news and it was quite a busy news week with Hurricane Ian in Florida. If you're from Florida, I hope you're okay. If you're from the Carolinas, I hope you're okay. But that means that I really didn't get to film a lot of the content that I wanted to. So today we are going to talk about my training and then hopefully before Sunday of next week, because I probably won't have a video next weekend, but maybe sometime during the week, I'll have a shoe video for you. Before we start talking about the workouts, I'll talk a little bit about the shoes that I've been running in. Obviously, as you know, I have been running the majority of my miles, especially my long runs in the New Balance Super Comp Trainer. This is what I wanna wear on race day. As you can see, there's an acorn stuck in this little opening. But it actually won't be this exact pair. This pair is beat the F up. I have a brand new pair right here. Look at this, look, look, look at how much nicer that looks, you know? It's so clean looking compared to this thing, I mean. It's like night and day. This looks, this shoe looks brown compared to this. So I did end up going with the uh, glow in the dark color again. The white just wasn't really doing it for me. And my speed workouts the last two weeks, I have worn the Endorphin Pro 3 from Saucony. The more that I run in this shoe, the more that I love it. And also for testing, I have been running in the Saucony Triumph 20. Uh, I will have a video coming out on this shoe soon. I have been enjoying it a lot and I've been doing the majority of like my five mile, like eight mile easy runs in this shoe. Anyway, more about the training cycle. So we have weeks 12 and 13 to talk about and both weeks were pretty heavy on the running and had some intense workouts that I am excited to talk to you guys about today. It feels like the weather just like fell off of a cliff. Literally, it was so hot like two weeks ago and now it's, like I've run in long sleeves and I can't believe I'm saying that because of how hot it was just like a couple weeks ago. All right, so without any further ado, let's talk about how week 12 of marathon training went. In total, I ran 38 miles. Monday was a rest day. Tuesday is usually when I do one of my easier runs, but I actually took Tuesday off as well because I got a migraine, fun times. Uh, so I ended up having a seven mile run on Wednesday. Then I did my speed workout on Thursday and that was eight miles. Friday was five easy and then uh, Saturday was rest day and Sunday was an 18 mile run. 13 easy, last five a little more up tempo, around an 850 pace. For Wednesday's easy run, despite having a migraine literally the Monday and Tuesday before it, um, I did pretty well. I think the migraine issue is a combination of me just not hydrating enough, even though I think that I'm hydrating like crazy. Like I need more electrolytes. I just need a little bit more in my body and just stress, just work and, you know, fitting training in and all that stuff. But we're doing okay. Anyways, the seven mile run was pretty good. I did it in 111.11 for the time. My heart rate was 153 BP, uh, I'm sorry, 143 BPM and my average pace was 10.01. But I don't remember having any problems. I remember feeling pretty good, so we'll move on. All right, so the eight mile speed workout on that Thursday. If you've been watching these recap videos, you know I don't love a speed workout and it feels daunting to me before I start them. So when I saw this workout, here's what was prescribed. We have a one mile warm up, six one mile repeats uh, at a 7.55 to eight minute per mile pace, and then one mile cool down. Um, and we'll get to the rest of the stuff, yeah, but that was what was prescribed, a total of eight miles. I was like, oof, I don't know, this is gonna be really hard, honestly. And it was about to like torrentially downpour. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I don't know, when should I go? Should I go on the treadmill? Anyway, I ended up doing the run outside. I know, I'm a superhero. 
No, I'm just kidding. I am really proud of the way that I executed this workout and just how I did overall. I started out with the mile repeats going a little bit uh, slower than what was prescribed. Again, it was 7.55 to an eight minute pace, but I did the first one at 8.26 on purpose. I didn't wanna go bad out of hell right out of the gate because then I always feel like crap towards the end of the repeats. And I think I, I didn't mention this, but I should. Um, there is rest in between here, like two or three minute rest. I can't remember what it was, but um, just so you know. This is how the repeats went as followed. 826, 823, 803, 756, 746, and 725. I managed to negative split all of the repeats and finish faster than what was prescribed. So I'm really, really happy about that. That's exactly how I want to um, execute these type of speed workouts. I don't wanna go out doing like a 745 mile right out of the gate and trying to hold on to that. I would much rather cut down and that's exactly what like Kate has suggested I do and I'm happy that I'm able to do that. I remember uh, for the last repeat, I was belting it, belting it. Like I felt, it felt hard, but it felt good. And when I saw the splits when I was done and saw that I had negative split them all, I was super pumped. Uh, random tidbit and story, towards the end of this run on my last mile, it started to get like really dark in the sky. Like it was about to like come down. And right as I was ending my cool down mile, it started to like thunder and lightning. And I was kind of close to the house, kind of not, but I was waiting across the street and all of a sudden a lightning bolt literally hit a pole that was, I don't know, 10 feet next to me and sparked the whole thing and completely blew out the traffic light. So uh, that was terrifying. And if you think you won't get struck by lightning, you just might. So a word to the wise, try to avoid being out there when it is lightning outside because that was terrifying. So the next day, Friday, I did five easy. 4846 for the overall time, average heart rate of 139 BPM, and an average pace of 932 per mile. Very, very nice, very happy with that. 932 is on the lower side for me. I feel like I'm cutting back on my pace a little bit, getting faster, but maintaining and being able to keep my heart rate down, which is the idea. So that Sunday's long run was 18 miles, 13 easy, and then five at like an 8.55 to nine minute-ish pace. I finished the 18 miles in 2.53.55. My heart rate was 149 BPM and my average pace was 940 per mile. I felt so good during this run. I started out very, very conservative with a 10.39 mile and I tried to stay in the low tens, high nines for the majority of the run. I didn't want to start in like the nines and have no energy for the faster miles at the end. My last five miles were 849, 849 again, 837, 853, and 844. I felt like this was doable. It felt good. It felt like I was proper, properly trained to get a little bit of a kick in, in the last five miles. And I'm glad that we're incorporating this as daunting as it feels in the moment or before I do it rather. Um, I'm glad that we're incorporating this because if this is something that I can do during the race, I want to be able to do it. I brought four gels. I can't remember if I had them all. I might have. And I had my handheld water bottle. I did not stop at my parents' house because they were away last weekend. So I didn't get the extra water that I normally do. And I was a bit concerned about that, but it ended up being fine. Really, really happy with the week overall, week 12. I had a really good week and I wish that every week could be like that. <laughs> it was amazing. It gave me a lot of confidence and I felt good going into this current week of training, which we'll talk about right now. So this week I had 42 miles. Monday was a rest day. Tuesday I did eight easy. Wednesday a rest day. Thursday another speed workout, eight miles. And then Friday was five easy. Saturday, today, a rest day, and then tomorrow, I haven't done it yet, but it is 21 miles, my last long, long run of the cycle. All right, so for Tuesday's eight easy, did it in 118.01. 
Average heart rate 141 BPM and average pace 941 per mile. I did fine on this run. I did negative split it. It was kind of all over the place in terms of pacing, but I did the part of the course with more hills, I guess, or incline. And uh, that could probably be why that is. And not everyone needs to be a negative split. Overall, no problems, let's move on. Now Thursday's eight mile speed workout was a little bit different than last week. It was just alternating half miles at a 735 mile and the other half mile being easy. Again, I didn't wanna go out doing a 735 half mile off the bat. That's just not the way for me to get this done. So I'll read you off the faster splits. Eight minutes, 737, 732, 722, 724, 721, 712, and the last one, 701. It was downhill and I was kind of running for my life, but it's okay. This was another case of not exactly knowing how it was gonna go. And I think the moral of the story here and something that I take away, maybe you can take away too, is we're capable of more than we think we are. And I was tired, I was at work late the night before, blah, blah, blah. But I wasn't sure how it was gonna go. And again, it went pretty well. I started out easy. I didn't put too much pressure on myself and I felt good enough to keep pushing it, keep going a little more, a little more, a little more and managed a 701 and a negative split, I think for the most part on those half miles. And tomorrow is my last long, long run of the training cycle. Like I said, 21 miles. I haven't done it yet, obviously. Um, but when I do, after I do, I will post a clip here. All right, um, 21 miles, finally done. Uh, it was really windy today. Luckily the rain held up, so no rain while we were out there. Uh, but I finished in 323 something, which I think is 10 minutes faster than my uh, previous 21 that I did. So that's pretty cool. Um, I had, I brought four goos with me or four gels with me because that's all that I had. And um, I had all four. I had my handheld water bottle and I actually didn't stop at my parents' house. So I just drank what I had in the water bottle and I ended up being fine. Um... I didn't know like really what to wear today. So I had like, I had, I, I first wore a long sleeve. Then I thought that I was going to get soaked if it rained. So then I went back and put a jacket on and that was kind of stupid. So then I came back and took the jacket off. So that was just a drama. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and what else can I say? Oh, I think like the first four miles were in the tens and then the rest of the miles were in the nines. So that is good. Um, and I think for the majority of the time, I was able to keep my heart rate in the 140s, although towards the end from like miles 14 and 15 on maybe, um, it increased a little. And then at the end, I like didn't care what it was and I just ran because I wanted to be done. Um, but overall, I felt pretty good. I wore my new super comps today and they felt nice. And yeah, uh, that's the story. So I'm really happy to start tapering and not have to run another 21 miles until race day. Ooh, yay. I can't believe how soon this race is. Everyone's races are soon. Kate, my best friend and the person who created this entire running plan, her 50K is happening literally right now. So that's super exciting. Then next week, Ariana has the Chicago Marathon. So we'll be going down there. Really excited for that. And then Kate is also running New York City Marathon. So it's marathon season, it's running season. Fall is the time to run, whether you run marathons, 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Fall is our time to shine. Well, everyone, that concludes weeks 12 and 13 of my Suffolk County Marathon training. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and subscribe. And when you're done with all that, hit the notifications bell so you can find out every time I upload a new video. Like I said, I will try to have a video for you this coming week at some point, probably before the weekend, probably on the Triumph 20. So stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like Heller. See you next time. You don't realize how dirty a shoe is until you see a brand new one right next to it. Like, ugh, look at that collar. And look how beautifully green this one is. I mean, that is just a nice looking shoe. And this is haggard.
all chewed up. Mm -mm -mm. And then this, she's beauty and she's grace. 